What's up everybody guys, welcome back to me and my tutorial. It's continuation of this video. If you are interested in the scanning for the Gaussian splatting, I recommend to watch that. Color scene to worry much with the Gaussian splatting because you can hide the details to uh, keep the scene is more like clearly. So people don't care about the details. So let's get started. So I'm gonna uh, create a new map. So I'm gonna use the basic, create it. And so I'm gonna delete the player state for volumetric cloud, uh, sky atmosphere, directional map. And I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna call it GS Color. So uh, next is a download the PLY file. So I already pasted the link in the description and you can get the all the leaves uh, dot .ply and you need to uh, drag and drop it so this is uh, the ply file I already downloaded it so I'm gonna drag and drop here and I'm gonna change the uh, location to the 000 and also you need to download the asset so let's go to the big game Pause to human children pack. Pause to human children pack. So if you type the pause to human children pack, so you can download this uh, asset. Uh, this is free, so you can add the project uh, into your uh, project and add to the project. While I downloading the asset, so we can change the uh, uh, parameters. So first of all, it's uh, I'm gonna change the fog density to 0.05 and I'm gonna uh, click on the volumetric fog and I'm gonna go to the light skylight and I'm gonna uh, make it false and I'm gonna use the specify cube map and I'm gonna use uh, scene preview cube and intensity scale is 0.5 so <clears throat> So next one is I'm gonna add the camera, add the camera, cine camera after. I'm gonna change the location. So minus uh, 140 to 425. And also I'm gonna change the rotation, 15. <clears throat> and I also change the current focal length is 50. Okay, so now, <laughs> Next, I'm gonna make the move that is audio reactive. So I'm gonna add a new blueprint. So I'm gonna add the blueprint actor. I'm gonna call it BP audio reactive move. And I'm gonna open up and copy, save it. And I'm gonna add the cylinder, cylinder. And I'm gonna change the scale. Uh, X is 2, Y is 2, and Z is uh, 0 0.05, and I'm gonna change the rotation, Y, and it is 90. And also I want to change the material, so if I go to the materials folder, <coughs> if you already uh, watched the video, uh, the previous video, you will have uh, you would have uh, emissive light uh, material so i'm gonna copy and paste it and i'm gonna change the name uh emissive moon so if you don't have it so you need to go back to the <coughs> previous video but it's super easy so you can do that within the like just one minute so uh i'm gonna change the color so the color is more like blue, blue one around here. Save it, and I'm gonna uh, use it. The uh, emissive moon. Okay, so next, um, I'm gonna create the uh, <coughs> dynamic instance. So I'm gonna create a dynamic material instance to change the color. So and I'm gonna 
use that in my MEC boom and I connect it to here. So uh, I'm going to promote a variable and this is called dynamic uh, MI material instance. And then I'm going to copy cylinder, paste it, and I'm going to add the set material. And I'm going to use the dynamic MI as a material and connect it to here and compile save it. So now next I'm going to add the new variable which is pp osc received and next is important as i said the os pp osc received and make it uh, public and i'm gonna new variable address address and type is string and also this is a public and compile save it so if you click on the BP OC receive, <coughs> you can get the own OC receive. I'm gonna make it. So I'm gonna direct top to the address into the network and I'm gonna ton 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 record exactly. And I'm gonna connect it here. And I'm gonna add a branch and I'm gonna connect it here. So, <coughs> so I'm gonna direct the <coughs> dynamic MOI and get that. And I'm gonna start the set color parameter variable. The name is a miss. So now I need to change the value to float. I type the float. And I'm gonna add the multiply. And I'm gonna select the 20. And also I'm gonna add the subtract. And change to here. And then. <coughs> so if the barrier is coming the moon uh, going to be black so now i connect, and i also connect it here and i also uh, change the visibility so i'm gonna drop the cylinder and i'm gonna set visibility and then visibility is off and i'm gonna the delay and after that going to white and after that, I'm gonna copy and paste it. And visibility is off. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna drop it to drop to the scene. So uh, I'm gonna change the transform, especially rotation. No, no, no. Location to here to 2170, uh, uh, 1150, 380. But it's a little bit messy here, so I want to change the crop box. So it's around 26, 20. It's too much, 26. So I also want to add the spotlight. So I'm gonna add the spotlight, and I'm gonna uh, copy the uh, this location, and then found the spotlight, and paste it here. And I'm gonna rotate here, 90, and then continuation radius will be more bigger, and intensity will be more bigger, like a bit. And the outer corner angle will be smaller, so it's like a 25, so intensity 100. <coughs> And then I'm gonna change the volumetric scatter intensity to 8. I need to uh, move it, move the spotlight spot to here. Okay. And like this one. Okay. So I change the rotation like this of the spotlight. And go to the audio reactive moon. I'm gonna select the uh, default address. It's kick. So now I already download. Can I already download the uh, human children that is a set? So I'm gonna make the audio reactive audio reactive girl. I never heard of that. I think it's first time to audio reactive girl. So the girl like a move it uh, with like a randomly uh, reactive with the uh, audio. So I'm gonna. Uh, blueprint and actor and I'm gonna call it BP 
audio active go and i'm gonna open up and i'm gonna add the static image uh, component and i'm gonna select the i think go 24 yes sm child 24 this is really cool wow <coughs> good so i'm gonna add the new variable uh bp with the received and the type is bp with c and next one is the uh, address and then type is string and compile paste compile save it. <coughs> the address the default address is the uh, kick so uh let's go to the event graph i'm gonna say if you click on the OSC receive, you can uh, get the OSC receive. Click on that. And I'm going to drop and drop to the get address. And I'm going to add uh, exactly, equally exactly. And I'm going to connect to here. And I'm going to add the branch. And I'm going to connect to here. So next one, uh, I'm going to change the location of the static mesh. I'm going to get the static mesh. And I'm gonna have to set our uh, world world location. And I need to do a little bit calculation from the static mesh. I'm gonna get the uh, actor from here. I'm gonna get the actor uh, location. And I'm gonna uh, add the at node. And I'm gonna split <coughs> here. So I'm gonna add uh, London load in range 4x. So I'll check the minus 700 and max is 100. And I'm gonna copy and paste. And then London float is minus 200, uh, max is 200. So uh, I'm gonna connect to the here, connect to here. And then finally, I'm gonna uh, <coughs> connect to the new. And also, don't forget to connect to here. Okay, so simple. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. And save it. <coughs> and also, I need to open the level blueprint. And then I need to get a cine camera actor and to drop here. And I'm gonna <coughs> dock uh, the window again. And I'm gonna get the player controller. So uh, I'm gonna have to set view target to his end. And I'm gonna connect the cine camera actor to new view target. And I connect to the begin play. I'm gonna connect to the set view target with blend from the begin play. The compile save it. And then finally, we're gonna place a uh, BP audio reactive girl. So you can press whatever you want. So I'm gonna place it around here and change the rotation minus 20 no minus 90 and i want to change the rotation of the spotlight to here okay let's click on that <coughs> oh sorry <coughs> i don't have a oc receive so i'm gonna drop to drop the oc receive and then i need to select the uh, OC saved here. Also, girls. Oh, oh the reactive girl. I need to make it a uh, uh, public, and also this is like be a public. And then I'm gonna select the old BP here. So uh, let's start. Now we can get the OC because I already uh, make the OC in the uh, OC sending uh, system. In touch designer so i know it's a little bit weird so if you don't specify the name both of them you can just see the this scene yeah the scene is really cool so if you like a, uh, use the more polar sound and they have a, like a one kick sound like a stuff like that so if I change it, is it more good? Okay, okay, no bad, no bad. 
curious, not color. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, so if you, yeah, as I said, if you change the music, it's going to be more realistic. So next video is last uh, Gaussian splatting series. We're going to play effects like this. That's what I really want to show. And that's really cool. And so uh, let's go to the next video.